Jacaranda FM. Gabella here, producer from the Martin Bester Drive. I'm here with Nisha Chinsemi. Hey. hey Nisha, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What are we doing here? Okay, for my challenge for the bestie for Martin, I was told to make a braai broiki for him. And he said specifically yesterday, make one you think I would like. So this is my attempt on the braai broiki. Basically, ah, I'm going to do, Martin, a braai broiki with a very thin, tenderized steak that has been marinated in somewhat secret spices of mine. I will then be infusing that with, to stick together with a bit of mozzarella cheese, apparently the lowest in, in oil because I know he's health conscious. I will then be adding caramelized onions, some sweet pepper juice and then be doing a broiki for him. And I will be serving it on the side with a chili and garlic sauce. I am after all Indian. He's going to get a bit of chili. Martin, here you go, your braai bricky made specially by me. I have garnished it with a chilli and garlic sauce in a base clef because it's one of my favourite to travel in the base. So I thought this is how I'll start it off. When we have our next meeting together, I will make you one with a travel clef. So Nisha, who is our second finalist in the Best of Bestie search, her challenge that she got from one of our listeners called Rian was to make me a braai broiki that I would enjoy. Now braai broikis, I think a lot of people know braai broikis is an accompaniment to a braai. Uh, and let me tell you something, she made me this which is a, a braai broiki on steroids really because normally, I don't know, maybe it's because I, I grew up uh, you know, poorer than her, I don't know. Uh, normally it's just you know tomato, onion, a bit of chutney in if you want to put something luxury on it like cheese. She actually went all the way and even put some uh, some steak in there as well. Um, and she got it all right, let me tell you. Uh, beef is about the only meat I really eat. Um, she made sure that the tomatoes are skinless because unfortunately I can't have tomato skins. She put some mozzarella cheese on it and uh, some special sauce and the presentation also looking fantastic. So. With no further ado, let me give this baby uh, a taste here and uh, tell Nisha if she got her challenge spot on as my bestie. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. This is real good. You didn't even have to put the steak on it, honestly. I would have been happy with it without that, but this is like, as I said, on steroids, baby. Mm-hmm. Jack FM.